Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Pixel Grease and I'm going to be showing you today how to set up an RTMP server. And what this is useful for is if you need to switch sources between your local machine and other sources like your iPhone without having to stop your stream and then restart it. So I'm going to be going through this from step by step, but uh, here's a quick example of what it looks like. I'll switch to my phone now. And then I'll switch back all without having to stop the stream. So the RTMP server we're going to use for this is called NGINX or NGINX. I have a link to this in the description below. We're going to go to a slightly different GitHub page to get this, but uh, this is the best way I found to install this and it'll take you less than 10 minutes to get this whole thing up and running. <clears throat> so once you get here, uh, you're going to scroll down until you see uh, the engine X section right here engine X setup so what you're going to want to do is click on the hosted on github link that will let you download it and then once we get this downloaded everything that we need is already going to be there so let's do this real quick we're just going to throw this on the desktop. You can put it wherever you want to, it doesn't matter. All right, so we're going to have a zip file, so we're going to go ahead and extract that. And once you're finished with that, you can delete the zip file. Uh, actually, first, so what we're going to do is I'm going to delete an existing one that I already have. I had this set up previously, so we're just going to delete these files just so you can see that we're actually getting this to work from exactly the steps that we're following now. So now that I have this cleaned up, we're going to open up the download and we're going to copy all the files and put them in a folder. Now, as you can see, I have a folder called RTMP on the C drive. That's fine. Uh, control C will copy and either paste or control V will paste those into the new folder. And now we're done with this folder, so we're going to go ahead and delete that. Now you're going to have two, two bat files here, one called start engine X and one called stop. If you try to start engine X uh, as administrator, it won't let you. So make sure you just right click that and do open instead of run as administrator. And then you can see that it's running by right clicking and going to task manager and then going and searching in details for engine X at yeah, exe. You can see those two there. So I know it's running. Another way we can confirm this is working is by going to the IP address of our desktop so we're going to open up a command prompt and type in IP config all one word this will give us our local machines IP address we're then going to copy that enter in the command prompt will actually copy what you have selected here so I just hit enter there and we're going to open a new tab and paste that and that's all you have to do and you should see this page this this means everything's working all right so just to review what we've done is we've set up an rtmp server that is now up and awaiting uh, stream info to come from other devices so now what we're going to do is we're going to go and look at obs and configure obs to add a source which will pull in that rtmp source all right so this is obs I uh, excuse the uh, multiple windows there, but uh, what we're basically going to do is in that same link, you can see where it talks about how to pull in the scene in OBS. So I just sort of skip the live low, that first part. You can do that if you want, but the important part is step two here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a media source. I already have one, but let's just create a new one. We'll name it RTMP2. And now we're just going to reference 
to the website. So it tells us to uncheck local file. Let's go back and look. It also says we want one megabyte for the buffering. So we'll set that to one. The URL, this is very important. So this is where that IP address you captured earlier is important. So you're gonna do RTMP colon slash slash. And then just in case you forgot, let's go copy this. Enter, we'll copy. We're gonna paste that in. We're gonna do colon one nine three five slash publish slash live. And this URL is actually what you will put in to the iPhone or whatever app you're using that you want to actually stream to the RTMP server. The reconnect delay down to three seconds. That check mark there and say, okay, let's make sure. Looks good. All right, and the last thing you're gonna wanna do when you hit okay here is you're gonna wanna right click that source that you just created and go to transform and then stretch to screen. This is going to make sure that your stream whatever comes in actually fits the, the screen. Okay, and so now what you'll see is I'm here on my screen. Um, just to show you, um, on OBS I have the input capture, I have RTMP that's on top of this display capture. So when RTMP kicks in, we should see that. So now what I'm gonna do on my phone is hit the record button to send the signal to RTMP. See me. And you see me. Sweet. All right. Sweet. There you go. All right. And there you, you go. Can use this to now you can use this to connect anything you want to to GoPro. streaming. I do this with my GoPro and my iPhone on my stream. All right, and that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I appreciate uh, you hanging around. If you have any questions or any problems doing the steps that uh, I provided there. Be sure to leave a comment below and I'll be happy to assist in any way I can. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this stuff in the future. For now, that's all for me. I'm Pixel Grease and we'll see you later.